we are asked to find the reference angle for the given angles in radians. A reference angle is the acute angle that the terminal side of a given angle in standard position makes with the x-axis. So for the first example, we want to determine the reference angle for 28 25 pi radians. Notice how 28 25 is an improper fraction, and therefore it'll be helpful to rewrite 28 25 pi radians as 25 25 pi plus 3 25 pi. Notice how the sum here is still 28 25 pi radians, but 25 25 pi simplifies to just pi, and therefore to graph 28 25 pi radians in standard position, we will rotate counterclockwise pi radians, and then an additional 3 25 pi radians. So the initial side is along the positive x-axis, and now we rotate counterclockwise pi radians, and then an additional 3 25 pi radians. If we rotate to here, this would be another pi over 6 radians, or 1 6 pi radians, and 3 25 pi radians is less than pi over 6 radians, or 1 6 pi radians, and therefore the terminal side would be approximately here. So this is the angle 28 25 pi radians in standard position. The reference angle is the acute angle here between the terminal side and the negative x-axis, and we already know we rotated an additional 3 25 pi radians past pi radians to find this terminal side, and therefore the reference angle is this acute angle here, which is 3 25th pi radians. For the second example, we are given the angle of negative 18 thirteenths radians. Notice how there is no pi here, and therefore in this case it will be helpful to get a decimal approximation for this improper fraction. Negative 18 divided by 13 is approximately negative 1.38. And therefore to find the reference angle, we need to sketch approximately negative 1.38 radians in standard position. Let's take a look at the decimal approximations for some common angles in radians. Notice how positive 1.38 is between pi over 3 radians and pi over 2 radians. And therefore, because this angle is negative, we are going to rotate clockwise somewhere between pi over 3 and pi over 2 radians. So in standard position, the initial side is along the positive x-axis, and now we rotate clockwise somewhere between pi over 3 and pi over 2 radians. So if we go clockwise pi over 6 radians, that would bring us to here. If we rotate clockwise pi over 4 radians, that would bring us to here. If we rotate clockwise pi over 3 radians, that would be to here. If we rotate to the negative y-axis, that would be pi over 2 radians clockwise. And therefore the terminal side is going to be approximately here, again between pi over 3 and pi over 2 radians rotated clockwise. Or we can also say that negative 18 thirteenth radians is between negative pi over 3 radians and negative pi over 2 radians. So this is the graph of negative 18 thirteenth radians in standard position. The reference angle is the acute angle here between the terminal side and the positive x-axis. And therefore, the reference angle is going to be positive 18 thirteenths radians. And now let's look at one more example. We want to find the reference angle of negative 10 thirty-fifths pi radians. Well, first notice how the fraction negative 10 thirty-fifths simplifies because 10 and 35 share a common factor of 5. 10 thirty-fifths simplifies to negative 2 sevenths. So we can rewrite negative 10 thirty-fifths pi radians as negative 2 sevenths pi radians. And again, it may be helpful to convert this to a decimal by determining the product of negative 2 sevenths and pi, which is approximately negative 0 0.90. So because the angle is negative, we are going to rotate clockwise. But again, looking at the decimal approximations for some common angles in radians, notice how positive 0 0.90 is between pi over 4 radians and pi over 3 radians. And therefore, to sketch the angle in standard position, we are going to rotate clockwise, because the angle is negative, somewhere between pi over 4 and pi over 3 radians. So in standard position, the initial side is here. Again, if we rotate clockwise between pi over 4 and pi over 3 radians, the terminal side would be approximately here. And therefore, this would be the angle in standard position of negative 2 sevenths pi radians.
you can have your rotator to here, that will be rotating clockwise pi over four radians. If we rotator to here, that will be rotating clockwise pi over three radians. And again, our angle is somewhere between those two rotations. The reference angle is this acute angle here, which because this angle is negative two sevenths pi radians, the reference angle is going to be positive two sevenths pi radians. I hope you found this helpful.